All right, guys, it's that time again. We got a new patch, and I, I'm already just gonna say, I'm gonna say it right off the bat. I think this is the best patch that we've gotten in Splatoon 3 so far, because they're actually like making like pretty big changes, and they don't seem as scared to do certain things. So, yeah, let's get into it. So it's coming out. Um, well, it's coming out later today for you guys watching this. For me, it comes out tomorrow because I'm recording this, as you can see, um, 9.20 p.m. So it's coming out tomorrow for me, but by the time you're watching this, it's coming out later today. So won't be very long until you could experience this all for yourself. All right, so first thing, um, added, okay, yeah. So there's like a new Splatfest song, that's cool. And then, okay, this is sort of interesting. I know many people probably, this is like the thing people care the least about in this patch, but it, it is interesting. Um, so they're basically making it so tricolor matters more um, to, to determine the final results, which I think is a good thing because from the previous Splatfest, I guess it seemed like Tricolor didn't really matter that much. Like the team that was in the lead at halftime would end up winning the whole thing and Tricolor didn't really matter. So I can see how they're doing that. And then they made like number of votes and the sneak peek matter a little less. So bit, like when I say little, it's like really little, but yeah. All right, now on to the big stuff. So main weapon changes. Um, splatter Shot Nova, movement speed while firing is now 10% faster. Ink Splatter will now fall around the player's feet more easily. That's good. Um, it's better painting technically, um, which it needs because that thing should paint really well and I don't understand why it doesn't. And then the fact that it moves faster is also quite good. Um, I don't think this weapon's gonna be like really used that much more, but that's good for it. Luna, this is another thing like I don't really think this is gonna matter very much. Um, Personally, I find Luna's very annoying, so <laughs> I don't like that they buffed it, but this is good for people who do like Luna. But at the same time, I don't think this is really going, going to like change much, so yeah. Um, big Swig, okay, this one's, this one matters, sort of. Again, I don't know if it's gonna make it like good, but this definitely matters more than the last two. So they made it so it's easier to kill with the vertical swing, like it has a longer range. So yeah, it says due to this change, the distance where 100 damage can be dealt was extended by 15%. The distance where 50 damage can be dealt was extended by 49%. So it's, it's easier to kill with um, with the vertical flick. And I think it can like, I don't know, it could probably like combo a little better now with some stuff. So there's that, yeah. Um, Snipe Rider damage increase from 60 to 68. Um, all that really does is help it combo with stuff that does 32 damage. So like what? T-Tech? Yeah, it's slipping my, my mind right now, but there's there's other stuff that does 32 damage, but, uh, I don't know. I, another thing, I, I don't think it's gonna like matter that much, but that's good for it, that's good. Step in the right direction, cause my goodness, this thing needed buffs. You know what else they should do for this thing? They should make it quieter. Um, because right now you could hear this thing literally across the map and I don't know why it's so loud, but they should do that. That would technically be a buff for it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's <laughs> just, just a funny thing I was thinking about. Okay, this is like the first really big one, I think. Um, Slosher can now, it will always do 50 damage no matter of what height you're going at. And this has been a problem with Slosher for a long time. It's fall off damage was always like weird. Um, but yeah, so if you hit someone twice now, they will always die. You, you will never have to hit them more than twice. No matter of if you're shooting down at them, shooting up at them, or just shooting in the same plane. You will, it will always kill in two hits, so that's good. Mini, increased firing duration by 70%, that's good. That's really good for Mini. Um, that's like, again, they're doing this thing where they used to add, like you remember in the last patch where, was it the last one or the one before? I don't remember, but where like they gave, they extended Nod, Nautilus's uh, rain, uh, duration of fire. And they made like Dynamo have more damage. And they were doing this thing where they were basically giving it the effect it had in Splatoon 2 with MPU. They were just giving it that for free because they realized that running that amount of MPU on that weapon in Splatoon 2 was what made it like good. So yeah, they're just kind of giving it, giving these weapons those perks for free now, which I think is fine because Mini was not very good um, before. So this should help it a little bit. I don't know, maybe Zimmy will be used a bit more now, but I, I still don't think Big Bubbler is in a very good spot. So we'll have to wait and see for that one. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is what the thumbnail and title's all about. 
<laughs> Dapples got buffs. And so there's a main weapon buff here, and then it got it got some other indirect buffs, which we'll talk about a bit later. But yeah, so shorten the amount of, uh, the amount of time it takes for a player to be able to act after a dodge roll by roughly 0 0.06 seconds. So I believe that's that's like a few frames. So yeah, that's that's good. That's really good. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> it's like I don't really have much to say about it, but that's just good. You could. You can roll around faster now. You can throw a torpedo faster. You can shoot faster. You can roll again faster, you know? It's just... Uh, now, are Dapples going to be good after this? I, <laughs> I doubt it, to be honest with you. But they will be better. And this thing needs all the buffs it can get. I still, I, I'm still hoping for a tiny little range buff. But <laughs> they got to be careful with this weapon because if they if they buff its range enough, it's probably the best weapon in the game. So they got to be careful. But hey, it's something. This is the first main weapon buff that Dapples have gotten in a long time. And that includes Splatoon 2. So, yeah. Okay, this is another one that people are excited about. And I should be excited about, but I'm also kind of not, which I'll explain. Splat Dooley's increase the dodge roll movement speed, shortening the amount of time it takes to move by roughly 0 0.06 seconds. Okay, so yeah, I've mentioned this before in multiple videos, but splat dualies, I don't like using them that much for, for a few reasons, but the main one that I don't like about splat dualies is that um, they just feel really slow. Like, if, like, you know, I'm someone who uses Tetras, Dapples, and occasionally Glugas. Tetras and Dapples feel so much more, like, swift and fluid than splat dualies do. And even Glugas, like... I think Glugas are technically, they roll slower than Splat Dooleys, but something about them just feels more fluid than Splat Dooleys, and I don't know what it is, but that's always been my biggest problem with Splat Dooleys. But now, they're sort of fixing that. I mean, I have to, I have to try it out for myself. It's, it's 0 0.06 seconds. That's just, a, that's just a few frames. So I'll have to try it out and see how it feels, but it's, it's good. They, it's, they understand that this weapon has that problem. Now... Some of you are probably wondering, am I going to use this weapon now if it's good? And the answer to that is, with a current kit, I don't think I will because I just don't like using Crab Tank. I don't like using that special. It's boring, and I'm also just bad with it. Um, so, no, I don't think I'm going to use Splat Dooleys, even if this is a good buff. But I will consider using the End Parries when that comes out, if that gets a good kit. So... We'll see how that happens. And then Reflux, um, this is a good change also. It says, made the angle diffusion narrower depending on the amount of charge, making it easier to focus on attacking a single area. Movement speed while charging. Okay, so first of all, the movement speed, that's just pl plain good. There's no, nothing bad about that. Um, I always thought, you know, it's a lightweight bow, yet it's kind of slow. So that's a good change. W. Um, and then made the diffusion. Yeah, so kind of... Weird wording here. Maybe the Japanese uh, translation is more, makes more sense. But from what I gather, it's just like, I think it's easier for the, your, because what, it shoots like three bullets or something, right? And then it's, it's easier for them all to go in one spot. So I think it's easier to just like hit directs now. I, th I think that's basically what this means. On a very basic level, I think it's easier to get directs now. But feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that. I'm, I'm kind of struggling to understand this one. But yeah, Reflux needs those changes. So that's good. All right, now on to the sub weapons. Only two of them, but these are these are significant. So angle shooter has roughly doubled the radius of the ink splatter that occurs when it hits terrain. <laughs> Didn't they already buff that previously? This thing's gonna be painting a lot now. This thing's gonna like paint as much as a burst bomb <laughs> when you throw it. Okay, maybe not that much, but it, it, they're buffing it so much. Maybe it will. I don't know. They doubled it, and it was already like decent, right? So, gee, I don't know. Angle shooter might be good now. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Okay. Uh, but this one, this one, this next one, I think matters more. Uh, Burst bomb has received a pretty big nerf, and it already got nerfed in the last patch. So, increase the amount of ink consumed from a standard ink tank from forty percent to forty-five percent if the player doesn't have the ink saver sub ability equipped. And the amount of ink consumed when the maximum number of abilities are equipped will not change. Okay, so if you're running like all sub saver, then nothing's different. You'll still get triple burst bomb. I think it's two pures of sub saver to get triple burst bomb. So yeah, that'll still be a thing. But if you're not running any sub saver, which currently no one does because there's no need to, um, yeah, you're gonna struggle a bit with your ink tank. 
because you now will, if you, if you use two burst bombs for full ink, you only have 10% of your ink left over now, which is not that much. Um, so what does this mean? Well, obviously the first thing that comes to mind is Splash. And I think it's good for Splash, but I still think Splash is going to be fine. Uh, people will just have to be a little more wary, but like, you know, it's, it's a shooter. I don't think it's gonna really suffer that much from this. What this does hurt a lot are the other burst bomb weapons, like a Splatana Stamper. Um, what's the other one? Like L3. I mean, L3 is still technically a shooter, but that one's gonna struggle more um, than Splash for sure. Uh, but yeah, like Stamper, that's, that's gonna hurt for Stamper. That really hurts us. Because that thing's ink consumption isn't the greatest by itself already. So now that it only has 10% of its ink tank left, yeah, this this thing's not going to be comboing with Burst Bomb as much. Um, and, you know, I don't <laughs> I don't play Stamper. Um, so it doesn't really affect me. But, yeah, I imagine that kind of sucks if you play Stamper. So, yeah, sorry. I know a lot of my viewers do play Stamper. So, sorry, guys. All right, now onto the special weapons, which there's a lot of changes here. All right, so uh, first is ink vac. Increase the radius of the outer perimeter when vacuuming up ink by roughly 10% to cover a larger area than before. That's good, but I don't think ink vac is going to really be any better than it was, I think. I think it needs... It need, it, I can't really tell you what it needs, but it needs something else. Because right now it doesn't do very much. I think it's a very low tier special. It's like near Reef Slider and Ultra Stamp. Well... Okay, let me say, it's, it was near Reef Slide on Ultra Stamp before this patch, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, okay, Tax Cooler. Good, 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 good. Increase the initial setup setup speed when throwing the Tax Cooler by roughly 33% to enable it to be set up farther than before. Okay, I think this means fast. I think that's a mistranslation. I think that's supposed to say faster. Wait. In it, set up speed when throwing the tactical by roughly 33%. Set up speed. So that means it deploys faster, but then it's saying set up farther than before. Because its range isn't being buffed, right? Like how far you can throw it. I think it's how fast it's deployed. This one's confusing. This was confusing me earlier and it still confuses me. Uh, maybe the Japanese notes um, clarify that better, but... I think it's saying that it, uh, it, it deploys 33% faster, which is good because it was a little slow before. And it roughly doubled the horizontal radius of the area where players can drink a beverage. Um, yeah, that's this is a great change. Because um, before, it, it just makes it easier for your teammates to grab it. Um, because before, you would have all your teammates would have to like huddle around the little uh, refrigerator. Now they can. Uh, they don't really need to be even super close to it to grab it. So. That is a great change. And again, Dapples have that cooler, so that's another Dapples buff technically. And here's the next one. And this is also a Tetra buff, yay. Reef Slider, increase the amount of damage dealt from 60 to 70 when getting caught in an explosion at long range and increase the radius of the area by roughly 17%. Okay, so do note that this is not the lethal range was not increased, okay? It's just the outer range that deals partial damage. That 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 that's increased by 17%. But from what I understand, its lethal range is the same. So like for all of us who get mad when like people don't die like immediately when they when we thought they should have, that's still going to happen because that was not changed. But now people will get partially damaged a lot easier. Um, so that's good, because Reef needed this. And also, as you can see, they changed that partial damage from 60 to 70. And finally, they did this. My goodness, why was this not done earlier? Why was it 60? I don't know what Nintendo was thinking. It should not have been 60. 70. So now, Reef Slider will combo with bombs. And most notably, or I should say, combo with bomb partials. But most notably, and again, this is in relation to Dapple Dooley's Nouveau, it combos with the indirect torpedo roll. So now you can use your reef slider, you partially damage someone, you chuck a torpedo at their feet, and then they will die. Because, or they could have died before, but you need to hit them directly with a torpedo and, and that would do 60 damage. But uh, an indirect roll at their feet will do 30 damage. So now that will kill. 
it will do 30 plus 70. So that will kill them now. Thank God. Why did that take so long? I mean, I'm thankful, but why? <laughs> All right, and then also increase the radius of the ink splatter from an explosion by roughly 21. Okay, this is actually pretty big too, 21%. Reef Slider already painted pretty well. Like it paints better than Splashdown did in Splatoon 2, and now they're increasing that by 21%, so that's pretty big. It's gonna be even more useful for like capping splat zones. On some mass, it might just be a free zone cap, I don't know. Um, but yeah, like, cause like, yeah, on Hagglefish, zone like it was it's not a free cap but like it, it gets close to capping it by itself by just detonating a reslider on top of it and now it's 21 percent although that did get nerfed a bit when they added that giant pole in the middle because that kind of blocks a reslider now so we'll see but this is big uh all of us i know a lot of you watching use dapples nouveau and tetra Dooley, so this we won <laughs> we won let's go thank you nintendo all right moving on Inkjet, increased radius of the explosion. The deal's 50 damage, around 43%. Uh, another big change. This is why Inkjet was so weird before, and it didn't kill consistently. It should kill way more consistently now. Or, again, not the lethal shots, but like hitting people with a 50 shot is gonna be way more consistent. And also, it's it's uh, you could go even higher in the air now because your, your jet stream is uh, stronger. So, yeah, that's a good change. Okay, now this is like the next coolest thing in this patch. This patch has so many cool things. Ultra Stamp. I just made a video on how much Ultra Stamp sucks. And luckily it seems like a lot of those, it, um, well, not all of them. It's still gonna have a lot of problems because Ultra Stamp is Ultra Stamp, but they fixed a lot of the dumb things about it from what it, from what it seems like here. So it says, increase the radius of the area where a player can be damaged from the shockwaves of continuous stamp attacks by roughly 43%. Thank goodness. Oh. So yeah, it will, it will damage people more consistently now. It'll be way easier to kill with it. Because before, you could stamp nearly right on top of someone and its its radius was so small, like the shock waves are so small that they just wouldn't get damaged. And it was so dumb, it was so dumb. So that won't be a thing anymore, hopefully. So it's 43%, like that's that's nearly double what it was. So I think it's gonna be good now. Um, okay, and this is the next big one. Improved the turning performance when doing continuous stamp attacks. So when you're doing the rush mode, basically, it makes it easier to change direction. Again, W, like, my goodness. Thank you, Nintendo, thank you, thank you. Maybe they watched my video, guys, and then that's what inspired them. They watched my Reslider video, and they watched the Ultra Stamp video. <laughs> no, okay, there's no way they watch those. They, 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 they don't care. But they are listening to people who are complaining about these specials, so that's good. But yeah, Stamp was always, that was another really big weakness for it. It was so slow to turn, and you'd have to, like, yeah, it was just not fun. It was really bad. Um, so now, they don't say by how much they improved it, like, is it just really tiny or is it actually big? So we'll see. Maybe I'll make a I'll make an update video maybe where I use Ultra Stamp and then I'll give my thoughts on it and stuff. But yeah, great change. And then, okay, this is another big thing. When doing continuous stamp attacks, so the rush mode, the stamp will now be displayed as translucent on the user's screen, making it easier for them to see where they're going. Uh, that's great. That's not something that I thought they would do. Like it's like when I thought like, how should we buff Ultra Stamp? Like that's not something that comes to mind, but at the same time, this is like something that we didn't think we needed, but we did. Um, Cause now that I think about it, I realize, yeah, my view is blocked a lot by Ultra Stamp. It's really hard to see where I'm going or who's in front of me. So that's gonna be a lot easier to use now. And then I think just, um, I saw someone else saying this earlier, but like, for newer players who are trying to learn Ultra Stamp, it's gonna make it easier for you because it's not as difficult now to see where you're going. Um, so yeah, All my, guys, my main weapons are getting buffed all over the place here. We have won. Every viewer on this channel has won. All right, and speaking of Ws, we have Crab Tang. Crab Tang got nerfed and it's actually a significant nerf. It's not nothing like the last time it got nerfed where it was just like, it lost one second or something. It was like nine to eight seconds. That did nothing. But this, these two changes might make some people not want to play it anymore. 
Granted, I, I do think it will still be played. I think it'll still be a fine special, but it's a it's more balanced now for sure. And I think this is great. So this says, introduce an interval where players cannot attack for roughly 0.33 seconds after returning to attack mode from mobile mode. So now, when people go into their ball form, roll around, then pop back out, start shooting, then go back into ball form, then shoot again. It's way harder to do that now because you now have some downtime once you pop back out. Like, you know how with Reef Slider, where you pop it, you detonate, and then you're kind of just stuck there for a little bit and you can't do anything, and you're kind of just like a sitting duck. Crab Tank has that too now. Um, and it says 0 .33, 0 0.33 seconds. That's a decent amount of time. That's like, what, like near 20 frames? Something like that. So, yeah, that's 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 a lot actually. So I think that's great because that was really dumb before. How crab could just roll around and then it just pops back out while you're trying to attack it and you just die because it has too much health. So that's great. And the next thing, increase the amount of time it takes for players to act again after the special ends. So yeah, there's end lag now with crab tank as well. Like once the special is depleted. There's end lag as well. So great changes all around. I think Crab Tank needed that. Um, I still think it could have used something else, like maybe a slight range nerf or a, a fire rate nerf, you know, just, I'm not asking for anything else big, but just like, you know, a little something else. But this is good though. They're finally listening. They're doing something. They realize the special was dumb. So there's that. Okay, and Kraken made it easier for a player to be pushed back by an enemy attack in tower control mode with the players on the tower and made it so that a player will drop all their clams and power clams wherever they are when they use the special in clam blitz mode. So, in short, it is harder to cheese objectives with Kraken now, which I think is good because that was so stupid before. How Kraken could just ride tower for free and get free points and it could just... Now, you you can still cheese in Clam Blitz because people could still jump to you, but you just can't have your own Power Clam or Clams anymore. You drop them now. Um, so that's good. Okay, so now we have gear ability changes. There's two of them. Um, sub Resistance Up is now going to be useful, I think, because as damage from Burst Bombs and Fizzy Bombs will be reduced more than before, even with just a few gear abilities. So they changed the curve for Burst Bombs and Fizzy Bombs. So yeah, guys, I think if, um, what, if Splash and Machine are still very prevalent in the meta, I think running like one or two subs of sub resistance is gonna be like quite, maybe just one sub is good now. I hope it's one sub, because I really don't like making space for two subs. A sub resistance. I didn't like having to do that. So hopefully one is good now. All right, now opening gambit. <laughs> if a player splats or assists in splatting an enemy while this gear ability is in effect, the effect will now be extended by 15 seconds instead of roughly 7.5 seconds like it was before. So yeah, that's that's good. I think that's that's a significant change. Um, but I don't think that's enough. Here, well, let's get, let's go over this too. So now, um, intensify action is a thing too. So a lot of people actually didn't even know this. Like, they didn't even know this was a thing from the start. But yeah, with opening gambit, guys, if you... So it, it, it lasts for 30 seconds, right? Like, the, the ability lasts for the first 30 seconds of your game. But if you're able to get a kill or assist, then it would be extended a bit. Like, it would be 7.5 seconds before. Um, so theoretically... If you were killing or assisting the entire game, um, then it would still be active. Like, you would not lose the effects of opening Gambit. And it's gonna, it's gonna be easier to do that now. It's gonna be, like, double easier. <laughs> Cause it's like, yeah, it is quite literally double, so. Yeah, 15 seconds. Um, and then the fact that it has intensify action now is good too. It should have intensify action. Cause what it was our, it's swim speed, Run speed, ink res, and intensify action now. So yeah, that's good. Um, I don't think it's gonna be used that much in comp. Maybe it could be good in solo now, if you're facing people who are like really bad, then this might be the play. I saw, um, I was watching FLC's stream and he said like, yeah, like for maybe like ranged blaster or blasters, opening gambit might be worth it because it has intensify action now. Like, and it's giving you like near max intensify action. So yeah. Um, that could be good for blasters. <laughs> I might, I got some people who were asking me like, I should make a video where I use opening gambit on Tetras. And before I didn't want to, but now that this is a thing, maybe I'll try that as like a little meme video. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, opening gambit. Yeah. 
Um, okay. Points required for some special weapons have been changed. Just two. Carbon Roller Deco gets Trizuka 10 points faster now. That's good. I think it was a little slow before. And 96 gets Kraken a little slower now, which is also a welcoming change. Um, and then Kraken Royale is now easier to hear from a distance. That's fine. It was already pretty easy to hear, but now it's even louder. So everybody is going to be knowing that you're in Kraken. So there you go. I wonder if it's as loud as... um. A snipe rider now. <laughs> I wonder if it's because that thing was that's like the loudest thing in the game. All right. Um, salmon run. Um, so in short, the easiest way to explain this is it's it's less laggy when picking up eggs now because like it would it has to deal with like the host of the room and like whose internet it would be using or whose connection it would be using to determine how fast eggs are picked up. Now it should be more consistent. That's basically what you need to know for this. I won't go into like the super complicated stuff. Um, so yeah, here, I won't go into this, but they explain why they did certain things. That's good, I appreciate that they do that. Um, all right, now there are a few noteworthy bug fixes. I'm not gonna read them all because this video is already really long, but I will go over the important ones. All right, so the first important one here, it says fix an issue that allowed crab tank users who held down the ZR button before changing from mobile mode to attack mode to start rapid firing slightly faster than usual. Um, so I didn't know that was a bug, but I guess it was. But yeah, you can't, it's a little slower to start rapid firing now. I didn't know about that, but there you go. That's another crab tank nerf. Um, <laughs> this one's just kind of sad. So it says, fix an issue where if the player using ink vac while moving forward was attacked from behind, the attack would sometimes be blocked. So, I mean, that's good because that was like a glitch. But at the same time, that sucks for ink vac because like, that was like the one bug helping them out and now that's gone. So yeah. <laughs> um, okay, and then there are some important Kraken Royale nerfs here. Um, so I don't know, some of you might not know, but there was a little exploit you could do where, cause you know, Kraken's supposed to have a lot of end lag, but there was a little trick you could do where once it's over, you could squid roll backwards and then it would just kind of cancel out your end lag. Um, you can't do that anymore. So there's that. So another Kraken nerf. All right, we got a few more here. So these two are important. So it says for both Inkjet and Ultra Stamp, they said that it wasn't clear before on whose like screen it would use to determine like if the shot actually hit. Well, shot for Inkjet and like stamp for Hammer, whether it was like connecting or not. So now it's gonna be more consistent. So there should be less issues of like you directly hitting someone on your screen and then them not actually taking damage. So that's great. Thank you. And yeah, guys, um, looking at the rest of these, I don't think there's anything else super notable. So yeah, that's everything. Um, uh, final thoughts, like nine out of 10 patch. I really like it. I'm so glad they're actually listening now and they're doing big changes that will actually make the game more fun to play and not useless stuff that has no effect. Oh, by the way, one other thing, these crab nerfs are going to, so I guess, see, they should have done this in the last patch that they had, like the one where they made like Ultra Stamp and Inkjet and Trizuka better against Crab Tank. Because now with with this end lag stuff on Crab Tank, it's now easier to kill Crab Tank with those specials. Like just for example, you know, Ultra Stamp. I was saying that like, oh my God, this, this is a big deal that Ultra Stamp, you could just throw an Ultra Stamp at a Crab Tank and it kills it now. But what I overlooked was that crab tank is able to just shoot you so fast that like by the time you're throwing the stamp you're dead already but now it's going to be a little like easier for you to kill them with the stamp because they have to wait a little bit for like their end lag and stuff so yeah um but yeah no i don't have a problem with anything in this patch actually i quite like it this is weird though this whole this angle i don't know about this one bro i need to see it <laughs> this is this is gonna paint a lot now. Um, I do feel bad for you burst bomb users who don't use splash uh, splash matic Like if you main stamper, I'm sorry. I'm genuinely sorry for you. Um, or if you main like L3 or something. But yeah, and all the main weapon changes are good. Dapples, splat dualies, yes sir. Dapple dual. I'm gonna be using dapple dualies nouveau a lot. I think now. Like of course not as much as like tetra or anything like that, but. I will be using it more than I was because this thing just got a whole lot better. Thank you, Nintendo. And so did the so did the vanilla ones with Tactic Cooler. So yeah, Dapple users, you won. You won more than anybody. Um. Oh, besides Slosh users because they got a huge buff too. Yeah, guys, that's it. 
Um, great patch. Let me know what you all think down below. Remember, it comes out later today. By the time you're seeing this, it will be out later today. I think it's like 5 p.m. PST? 6 maybe? It's around that time when it will come out. So look forward to that. All right, that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you think down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.